Right, morning everyone. So um, this video I'm about to make is called uh, Do Farmers Deserve More Credit? Um, sort of, I tried to do this video a couple of months ago but I decided I wouldn't post it. So I'm gonna have another go now. And um, the Kiwi farmer probably inspired me to um, do this video because he did a video I won't go into detail about it, you can check it out on his channel, I'll put a link in the description. Um, but, he done an awesome video, yeah, just go and check it out. Um, but, what I want to talk about is, do farmers deserve more credit? Um, I'm parked, I'm just looking at it now, there's some um, planting that my parents done quite a few years back. You can see it's not, um, like, probably within the last 10 years, I'm not sure exactly, but... Um, it was done through clean streams. There was an initiative through the council where the council would subsidize help, you know, they'd pay for some of the materials and the plants. Um, so there's probably other farmers that have done the same thing. But what I'm getting at is um, farmers on social media, there's not that much, uh, you know, where the. You don't hear people encouraging farmers or saying you've done a great job. So my parents have, there's other farmers out there too. The people we worked for before this, John and Jenny, um, they did, they've done planting for years and years and years and retired pieces of land which are no good for dairying and planted native trees on them. Um, but I just think there is a lack, there is a lack of, um, you know, there's, they're not encouraging farmers Farmers are actually, I think a lot of farmers, well most farmers are going out of their way to do this sort of work. Um, planting off their waterways, you know, managing their fertilizer better, uh, managing effluent. There's a lot of things that farmers are doing but they don't get any recognition for. And it's all right for the um, townies to complain about this or, not every townie complains about it, but. But there are people that complain about what dairy farmers do. Do, do you ever think about what you guys are doing? So here we've got 100 hectares, well 83 hectares of, uh, of grass and the rest is bush. So we've got 100 hectares all up. Um, how much rubbish do you produce? So if you took 100 hectares of town, how much rubbish is produced? How much pollution is produced in town? And they don't ever talk about that. How much, you know, what runs down the, the wastewater or the stormwater drains, where does that go? Into the streams. There's a lot that is not talked about, but yet you're going to come and point the finger at farmers. You're not doing it right. Point the finger at yourself. Um, yeah, so it's... I've been wanting to do something like this for a while because it really does... Um, it gets on gets on people's nerves it's not good for there's a lot of stress in farming we're dealing with a lot of things at the moment um, but yeah go to a farm and have a look before you point the finger at, at the farmer because a lot of farmers are doing a lot of good things and not just not just that we're we're actually producing food that can feed people I don't think um, we could I don't think the country could survive without food, could it? How, how's that going to work? Yeah. So we're going to go and take a look at another planting. Um, and yeah, we'll go from there. So it's hard to see it, but there's actually a planting that me and Suzanne and the kids are working on. We've planted along this bank here and down there. I have showed you other times about it, but there's uh, also the neighbor. You can see over there, there's planting which is actually similar plants to what we've put in here but she's planted them over there but that's probably about a seven year old planting over there it's not just the government it's actually, it's everyone and the question that needs to be asked is what you know what are you doing to um to help with uh climate change because you can't just keep pointing the finger at farmers um there's got to be other solutions you know, there's other examples, you know, what do you, wash your, what do you wash your car with in town? Or even on a farm, what do you wash your car with? Where does it go? It goes down the stream. 
into the storm water and into the stream, sorry. Yeah. People aren't thinking about what they're doing sometimes. And uh, there are definitely this you know, I'm not saying that townies are all doing it wrong because I do know of um townies that are doing plantings and reserves and things like that. There's things you can get involved with, but there's a certain group of people, and I'm not gonna point my finger at but they're really against dairy farming. And if they were against dairy farming, why why did they make us an essential service through the first COVID lockdown? Is that because they need us or, you know, they could have got rid of us. So for some reason, I think they do need us. But, um, yeah, what I was trying to get to is do farmers deserve more credit because there are a lot of farmers out there that are doing a lot of work for the environment but they don't get any credit there's nothing on social media saying oh you farmers are doing a great job or you don't see Jacinda Ardern saying ah oh, Joe Bloggs down the road he's doing such a great job with his plantings yeah probably the only thing I see on TV that's um, promoting dairy farmers country calendar so yeah I didn't really want to make this video but um, yeah go and check out Kiwi Farmer he done an awesome video, it's much better than this video that I'm doing now. Um, he did a really good job. So yeah, go and check him out and uh, we'll just go and check out one more planting and then that'll be it for this video. So this is a planting that my uh, brother and sister-in-law are working on. It's uh, really coming together. That's fair enough, let me hop on. Alright, just go over there and we'll have a look at this planting. Alright, so this is a more recent planting that my parents have planted off, probably in the last five years, which is pretty recent. Um, it's actually a stream that they've planted off, goes all the way up there, so it joins onto those uh, pines and gums up there. So it looks really good. One thing I must do is go back to our last job and actually have a look at um, some of the plantings that my our old boss our bosses have done uh, yeah just to have a look and see how they progress but yeah I don't mean to have a dig but um, there are lots of farmers out there that are doing a really good job so yeah don't mean to ramble on but um, yeah thanks for watching and we'll catch you somewhere else on the farm see ya